In this video, we are taking a closer look at these measuring devices from UNIT. One here is the anemometer, which of course measures airflow or air speed and also can measure temperature of that air. And also a little sound meter here as well, of course, to measure sound and noise flow. These are fairly inexpensive measuring devices and uh, pretty entry level unit devices. You can get more expensive devices, but these ones have Bluetooth built in as well. I am very curious to try that out because you can use your smartphone to make graphs and such. Doesn't really uh, collect the data and you don't really have to manually uh, use the data or note the data and afterwards go in and make your own graph. You can do that on the smartphone without any effort. So yeah, I'm definitely very curious to trying that out. And like I said, these are inexpensive entry level, but still should be fairly accurate measuring devices. Of course, link down in the description if you want to check either of these ones out. Definitely highly recommend them. And they are great for a small YouTube channel like me here if you want to test. Of course, this one, uh, if you want to test for noise, how much noise to actually generate for fan noise and such. If you are building a PC or whatever kind of stuff you're doing, this is definitely a handy uh, device to have uh, for your uh, YouTube channel for yeah, just getting an accurate reading. You can see here a little instruction, of course, in English. This is the European version. I bought this off AliExpress and uh, it arrived pretty fast, but of course, due to the circumstances of the world today, it might be a little slower for you, but of course, like languages or manual in different languages there. And you have four buttons and this big display, so it is very easy to use. Of course, just turn it on and point it to whatever you want to measure the sound. That's pretty much it. And like I said, this device has Bluetooth, so you can use your uh, smartphone to collect all the data and make uh, the graphs, which makes it much easier. Of course, microphone capsule there. And you also had that little foam cover there. I'm not really sure if it is to prevent any wind going into the microphone or if it's just to protect the microphone. But yeah, it's definitely a nice add-on. Of course, all plastic construction, but it does feel quite durable. I definitely think you will be able to drop this without it breaking a few times. Also have a quarter inch screw hole there in the bottom, which is excellent for tripod mounting, which we're also going to take a look at in this video. So you don't have any handling noise when you actually want to measure the sound. Uses three AAA batteries. Of course, you can use alkaline. I believe you also can use lithium, but I'm going to use a rechargeable nickel metal because I do like to be able to recharge my batteries. So yeah, these are from IKEA. I definitely highly recommend these. These are, in fact, Eneloop batteries, just rebranded with IKEA and cost like a third of the price. So, of course, just hold the little power button there and turn it on and it will start measuring uh, immediately. It only takes a few or a small second to actually turn it on. And you can see there you'll get the reading and it is very fast at updating as well. You can also make it slower at updating and, of course, it has hold and other features as well. But like I said, mini tripod is definitely a great add-on to this little device here. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use, but yeah, I think it's definitely the big one here because it also has a little ball head on there. So I can, of course, point it more accurately to whatever uh, thing I want to record or I want to test the sound from. So yeah, definitely this little tripod. Link down in the description if you want to check it out as well. Very inexpensive and pretty decent quality. But like I said, you can also set it to measure slowly, so it will not update as fast if that's what you need. And of course, uh, just use the fat fast preset is what I prefer. You have minimum, maximum, so it will only show you, example uh, here, the maximum recorded sound level. The minimum, of course, is the opposite, is <laughs> the lowest recorded sound level. And yeah, that's a pretty noisy in my environment right now. But yeah, up around 35.9 decibel. <laughs> and you also have an average hold button there. It's also very handy, so you can just hold it at a specific point. Of course, if you want to write it down or something like that. Let's have a look at the other one, which is an anemometer. Bought it from the same seller, both of these. Like I said, arrived pretty fast. But due to the current situation, if you want all of these, you could or should expect a little longer delivery time. 
But it comes with this little box. None of, none of them uh, came with batteries, even though there is room for batteries in the packaging. I suspect it's for saving some weight when actually shipping these. This one has all Chinese writing on the box, even though I bought it at a European, I believe, store at AliExpress. But no big deal here, but you can see the first manual we took a look at here is in Chinese, but there is in fact also an English manual in there. You also have a little warranty card, of course, if you want to apply for that warranty. I don't understand anything on here. Don't read Chinese or Mandarin, so yeah, but like I said, the English manual is also in here. Probably something the seller has put in uh, just to make it, make it compliant with the European market here. But there is not really much to it, like the sound meter, there's only four buttons, and it is very easy to control. The most advanced feature is probably the Bluetooth capabilities, connecting, connecting it to your phone, and we will also test that out a little later on there. I said four buttons, all buttons feel very nice on both devices, and you have a big screen there, it's very nice and easy to read, and also one of the reasons why I wanted this because I'm going to use it for my YouTube videos going forward whenever I need a device like this to measure air pressure or uh, sound levels. And the big display is easier to film, so you can actually show your audience what you are reading there. And also a tripod hit uh, amount on the bottom, quarter inch like the other one, and I believe it's exactly the same body they use for both of them, same plastic, and yeah, both of them feels pretty good quality. I definitely think you can drop them a few times without damaging anything. And the little fan in there, it is very sensible and also measures the temperature of the wind. Of course, AAA, three AAA batteries in there, nickel metal. Again, use the IKEA ones. <laughs> they are definitely great, great value. And you'll have the same-ish display. Of course, this one also has the temperature below, so it is a little smaller reading of the actual wind speed but it is definitely fine you can see you can read it pretty accurately on the camera as well which is like said a great thing if you are making youtube videos and want to use something like this to measure wind speed and of course miles per hour kilometers per hour meters per hour and all of those values or units you have the same functions like hold max minimum and average as well which again is a very useful tool if you just want to measure the max wind speed. This is definitely easy to do so. And like I said, also the average one here and the minimum. So yeah, definitely great tool. I think very, very easy to use and big, easy to read display. And they also are fairly accurate as well. So definitely highly recommend them. Also putting the same exact tripod on this one, <laughs> but two, one for each. And I really like these tripods there. And the great thing, I can still get into the battery compartment without having to remove that tripod, which is uh, definitely an added bonus. So let's test off this anemometer here, just using my little air blower <laughs> for my camera. And you can see it is very easy to update the actual reading within a split second, and you also get a little bar on the left side there to indicate the wind speed, how fast you actually are going. So yeah, definitely great tools, and I'm looking forward to making more content here on my channel using these devices here in the future. But like I said, it also comes with an app. These specific versions here came with Bluetooth. You can also get them without Bluetooth, but I wanted this feature so I could use my phone to uh, create the uh, graphs and other stuff for my channel without having to go manually into something like uh, Excel and put in all the data, write it down, put it in Excel and draw some uh, graphs manually. And you can see actually Bluetooth kind of impressed me. <laughs> it connects instantly just pressing the Bluetooth or power button, holding it in for a few seconds, then the Bluetooth will activate and you can do pretty much the same as you can on the device on the phone there does take a split second for it to update accordingly to the device itself, but it is definitely much better actually than I was uh, anticipating. But this one also has the record feature. And of course, you can start your recording. The app does need some work. You can see here, not all buttons are co correctly laid out and it doesn't really work all that great with the newer iPhones with a little notch up there, but you can collect all your data here for as long time as you want and you know of course more data points you have the more accurate measurement you will have and when you're done you just hit 
done there and you can export it. Every export options will get you to your email except for PNG and PDF. They will show you a little graph before you actually can go to your email and send it off to yourself or whoever you want to send it to. There's no other sharing options. You cannot upload it to OneDrive, iCloud or anything like that. You have to send it through email, which is a little unfortunate. But you can see here this graph is very usable and something I definitely could use in my videos going forward. And I haven't really done anything other than just pressing a button and collecting the data from my phone. So yeah, I definitely think the Bluetooth variant is worth it. But the app, as you can see here, does need updating for the newer iPhones. Also, some of the buttons doesn't have the correct text on there. I just couldn't hit the, hit the little X button up there, <laughs> no matter what I tried. Only thing that worked for me was exiting the app and going back, back into the app. It's a little unfortunate. As of this date of, of the video here, the, the, uh, the app has not been updated. So, yeah, I definitely hope that's something they will do in the future if enough customers, of course, is going to use it. And you can see here the lettering or the text on the buttons themselves is not really updated and doesn't really work all the reliable. So yeah, overall the app works and I'm pretty impressed actually how fast it is to connect these devices via Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth connectivity, I don't have any really complaints there, but the app itself does need to update to, to newer iPhones and also all those buttons there that doesn't have the correct text on them. But you can see, readings is very fast on the phone, just a split second slower than the device itself. But again, you can go in there and start your recording. And as long as you just keep it rolling, you can get some great data points. And this is very nice if you want to test airflow in a PC case or yeah, whatever kind of devices you want to test. This is an excellent tool and you can create some pretty Good graphs there. Also exported to Excel, PNG, PDF. So yeah, you have many options. And like I said, every time you will export it, you will be met with your email and you have to send it to yourself. If of course you want to collect it to yourself, the, the data there about the graph and everything is drawn within the app there. It takes a few seconds as you can see here to create a PNG file. But this one, send it to yourself and you can pretty much use it right, uh, right away. So this is definitely much easier than going in and yeah, making all this yourself and yeah, just have to exit the app manually and get back in there. Setting-wise, not really all that much there. You can set your company information or consumer information. And I believe that information will also show up on the graph. You can also upload your logo or an image of yourself, which is pretty decent. And you can set the temperature minimum and maximum level and also, of course, what kind of unit you want to use, meters or miles per second, or in terms of the audio meter, of course, what kind of uh, audio unit you want to use. So, yeah, definitely a great app. But with those little quirks that I talked about, it is working. But that's pretty much it. And, of course, the same for the uh, little audio or volume level meter there. You can go in and set everything up you would want or that you can set up on the device itself. You can set it up in your in the app here. For instance, if you want to have fast or slow and high sound alarm value, so you can get alarm if the volume meter register over uh, 100 decibels or whatever you set it to. And you can see the app version here is 1.0.6. So yeah, I highly recommend these devices. Like I said, great for content creators on YouTube. And I'm very uh, looking forward to actually using this uh, uh, going forward, testing devices. I'm setting up a little test bench, uh, a computer, with some of my older components. So I'm going to test various things in the future and also going to, to or plan to at least test various different fans for computer cases. Right now, I only really trust Noctua fans, but yeah, I'm curious to test out other brands as well and yeah, just do a lot of testing and data collecting and of course cre create more videos and content in the future here on my channel i really enjoy that so yeah i hope you uh, enjoyed it as well and of course like I said link to all of this down in the description i got it off aliexpress and it got there pretty fast but of course uh, it may vary depending on yeah the current situation i hope to see you again in a future video but that's been it for this one take care